You're listening to the AM Podcast Network, bringing big entertainment to audio. This is Adam from the AM Podcast Network, and it's been a while since I've done a video, so I figured I'd kick off 2015 with something that's really cool that I wanted to share with everybody, and it's called Coggle. I've been using it for about a week, and I'm telling you, I love this thing. I'm a huge brainstormer. I don't know if that's an actual word, but... I really enjoy putting my thoughts down so I can come back later and actually create something. I'm extremely creative, as probably you are. If you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're creative because I'm doing this with podcasts in the title, and normally podcasters are fairly creative. So what are we looking at here? Now, I'm in on this screen. I'm in on a brand new Coggle. So when you come in, you can uh, check out you know, pretty much nothing because Coggle is very, very basic. Let me just show you real quick and you'll even be able to see some of the projects that I'm working on. If I click Coggle up here, I'm going to go to my, my profile. This is it. That's the, this is really like all that there is. So I have my Coggles here that I've been working on. I'm, I'm working on kind of piecing together some new projects and everything. But for this video, I got the unnamed Coggle and I want to go through and I want to show you what this is. This is probably the most simplified tool I've ever seen and used so far. But that's what I love about it. I love the fact that it's simple. There's not like 20 or 30 pages that I got to figure out everything from. It's just my profile, start a new project, and rock and roll. So if you are into simple, uh, you know, simple dashboards, I guess you'd call it, then this is going to be perfect for you. So let me show you what this brainstorming does. I'm going to start off by just kind of naming this. So I'm going to just go click on here and I'm going to name this as my YouTube uh, tube uh, test. Okay, I'll press enter. And now I've started my brainstorming. I'm officially in on this. So what, what can I do here? Well, to the left, we're going to cover a lot of this stuff as we move along. Uh, here in the controls, you'll see add branch, click the plus sign, remove branch, control plus this. So let's, let me show you that. All right. Let's start off with how would we brainstorm? We're going to use this video as kind of our test run. So this is our YouTube test. Let's go ahead and let's add a branch. I'm going to click on this little plus sign and I'm going to put... Uh, features. So right now we are discussing the features. I press enter and then boom, it's in. So if I, if I come over here and I just click and grab this, I can move it around, which is awesome. I love the fact that it's just, I don't know, it just, it looks great and it works great. Okay. So let's talk about features. I want to add, how about we put in uh, simple, right? Simple interface. So simple uh, interface and then enter. Now, let me see, that's one thing. What else we talk about? We talked about, it's easy. It's easy to get into, um, if I can just type right, get into. Okay, uh, another feature is free. Matter of fact, who doesn't love free? Free to me is, is just incredible. Now, you can support them with, I don't know, they use uh, the pound, I think. It was like five pounds per year. I went ahead and did it just because I know this is a tool that I'm, I'm going to completely fall in love with. I'm not saying that you should. I'm just saying for me, I don't do it too often, but this is a project that I really would like to see supported. So and that's a big reason why I'm also doing a video on it because I, I believe in this project. And I think that if I'm getting some use out of it, then I bet you will too. All right, let's get back to this. Features. What other, what other features does it have? It's web-based. So if you don't know what that means, it means no matter what computer I'm on or my tablet or my phone or whatever it is, I can just log in and then boom, I got Coggle, right? So there's other programs. Let me see. I'll cover those real quick. So the other programs, uh, an open source one for this is called FreeMind. My daughter's been using that. She says she really likes it. Uh, it's totally free. It's open source. You just download it, but it's local. And that's kind of where... I, I, I like the Coggle more because I can access it in other places where FreeMind, as far as I'm aware, I can pretty much only access it, access it on my computer. Now, the one cool thing I like about that too, and I believe Coggle will do it as well, I just haven't tried it yet, is you can download your, your maps here 
in PDF format and you can also print them and then you can upload them to your Google Drive and there's just a lot of flexibility here so that's what I like all right let's talk about some of the controls okay so I want to add another branch by doing that uh, to do that all I have to do is click on the little plus sign here and then let's talk about controls all right we're just gonna go ahead I want to move this this little guy down here now check this out you notice it went right to a different color when I added another branch right I like that well let's say I want to change that when you right click on something you get this little memo or this like little I don't know whatever you want to call it menu right fly out menu <laughs> memo what am I talking about so you get the, all the options here add branch duplicate branch drag to create zoom page delete redo all that but if I want to change the color all I have to do is click on the branch right hold on one second let me figure this out click on a branch oh here it is here it is so I, I wasn't clicking on the right spot and I want this to be green boom I got green that's amazing now look I'm gonna talk about them but you can see them right over here underneath controls we're just gonna go through this list real quick I won't hit them all I'm just gonna you know hit a couple just kind of show you the flexibility of this I mean obviously if you log in and, and get yourself an account you're gonna be able to check all of this out okay so we've already covered add a branch let's let's create another branch we're gonna call this remove me okay I entered it oh let's change that color let me see can I get on it again there it is I'm gonna change it to red and then I'm just going to click and drag and I'm going to drag it out here. Okay, so to, to manage this control, all I got to do is hover over the plus sign, hold down, click on my keyboard. You notice the plus sign went to an X, right, which is pretty much universal for, de for delete. And then I'm going to click it. Boom, it's gone. Let's say I want that to come back though, and I'm going to do control Z. Now, Control Z is right underneath here, underneath shortcuts, but that's pretty much a standard shortcut if you're familiar with anything in Adobe or pretty much any software at this point. All right, so moving on, insert branch. So shift and click down. So let me see, I wanna shift, click down. Oh, okay, and then I, I inserted it here, or did I move? I moved it. Oh no, I see what I did. I transplanted the branch. So shift and I drag down. Oh, okay, let me control Z that. So, so all right, we just covered that. So that's transplanting. I shift and I drag down. What they're talking about is shift and then click down. Just click it. Boom, and I just added a whole nother branch. So very, very cool. As you can see, I've only been using it for a week. I don't typically use all these controls. But as I get better and better and better, as I'm sure you will, um, I'll get very familiar with this. I know I watched some of the videos that some guys made. They weren't you know, long or drawn out or anything, but those guys were like keyboard masters. I'm not, a, I'm not much of a keyboard master. So, All right, so we've already done the change colors. I, I've already showed you move the branch. Add images, which is totally cool. I don't do images just yet. I, I think I'm still too new and I don't necessarily brainstorm with images. I feel like that that's not really part of the brain process, but maybe it is for you. So anyway, to add German, uh, wow, to add images, all you gotta do is get your folder out and then you just drag and drop them right into the node and then boom, you got images. So zoom is hold control plus the mouse wheel and you're zooming in and you're zooming out. How awesome is that? That is just unbelievably great. Okay, so that was the controls part of it. Uh, shortcuts, uh, we can go ahead and we'll add another one. I know I didn't even fill it in as we were talking. I just got carried away. So shortcuts, we got that in yellow. And this is this section right here, shortcuts. Control Z, I've already showed you. So that's undo here. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. So undo is control plus Z that is super cool I really like that uh, I see another shortcut redo which is control I know I'm, I'm living on the edge here I'm not even putting what it is so control plus shift plus Z and then enter and then of course you know new child so if I wanted to um, 
me see. Let me see. There we go. So I clicked on it and I can just keep on adding uh, children with the tab button. So that's cool. Uh, let me see. So I'm going to control Z, all that back in. There we go. And then you can jump to parent by shift tabbing. So let's try that. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Obviously, I'm going to have to uh, fiddle around with that a little bit more. So shift tabbing is. Um, one of those things. There we go. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to cut this out of the video. I think I'm just going to leave it just to show you that I'm not an expert, but I'm more so con concerned with actually showing you guys this tool because I think this is going to change your podcast. Okay, so the last thing that I want to cover is going to be formatting. This part is just amazing. I know. It's the simple things in life that, that just really blow my mind, I guess. But it's formatting because this tool on its own, without any formatting whatsoever, is powerful. But when you start formatting things, it's like, what? Let me show you. So, bold. Now, if you're familiar with Markdown or even Google Plus formatting, a lot of this is very similar. So, for bold, it's asterisk, asterisk. Let me see. I'll type in a word. Asterisk, asterisk. Enter. Bold. Okay. Uh... Oh, let's not do that one. I gotta come back here and do this. Okay, italics. Uh, let me see, italics. Not a common word. Okay, which is, let me see here, italics is the asterisk only once. So what you gotta do here is asterisk, italics, and then once another asterisk, boom, you got italics. Strike through, this is a cool one. Strike through, which is uh, tilde, tilde, strike, tilde, tilde. Boom, I got strike through. I can even do lists, like like actual like bulleted lists, checked and unchecked. Check this one out. Dash, uh, we'll go square bracket, and then X square bracket, and this is checked. So this is pretty cool. Boom. I just checked the box. You can even do it unchecked. So uh, hyphen, uh, square bracket, space, square bracket. So no check in this one. And unchecked, enter. Boom, you got an unchecked box. That is so cool. All right, check this out. This one I think is really cool if you want to just go crazy with it. This is uh, your headers. I'm just going to control paste because this is a lot of code and I want to get through this video. So you see the code right there on the screen. All you gotta do is just pound sign or the hashtag sign, however you like to say. And the more you have, the smaller it gets. So let's go ahead and press enter. Check that out. That is so cool. All right. And then let me see what did I miss. Images. That's just drop and drag. Pretty pretty easy. And then here's the best part. So over here on the left hand side, if you if you come right here, and you say, did you know that? Uh, let me see. Where's the little Where's the little formatting? So there's a little, okay, anyway, I have it open, but these are little Coggle facts. And over here, um, if you click on it, you can go to their blog and check that out. There's also uh, formatting. Uh, you'll see it through more of their uh, uh, their facts. So if you click on like another, you know, did you know you can write math in Coggles? I haven't even gotten to that part. That's that's awesome. Uh, markdown. So if you don't mark, uh, if you don't know Markdown, it's really really cool. I love Markdown. Uh, there's all kinds of little Coggle facts you can scroll through. And then the one I found was about the formatting. I already have it open, so I'll just click this. So here's Coggle's uh, Markdown reference. This is where I'm pulling everything. So. You don't have to remember this in the video or anything like this. Once you log in, uh, you can go into your Coggles, and then you can find this. This page is uh, uh, Coggle it, or let's see, bloggle.coggle.it forward slash Coggle dash markdown dash reference. I'll actually leave that link in the description, okay? So hang in there with me. There's so much more than what I'm actually going to show you, and that's all right. That's right. I don't have to show you everything. It's all right here. All right, let's get back to the Coggle. Okay, I think I've shown you quite a bit of Coggle, and I'm a huge fan already. But let me just wrap this up by just talking about the benefits as a podcaster to having this. 
let's say that you and a host do a podcast together and you want to kind of put your show notes together and kind of brainstorm uh, what segments that you want to uh, cover. Well, by using this, you can collaborate into show notes or, you know, hey, check out this. This is what I think for the for an upcoming episode. Right. And you can create a coggle and you can, you know, dress it all up, add add somebody to it. And and then, boom, you're working on an episode right here. This is amazing. I'm I'm already cataloging all the episodes that I have coming up, which is fantastic. I can't wait to really put this into practice. You guys are going to see so much content coming from me this year. And I'm telling you, like, I'm cataloging all of it in Coggle. And anything that I, I create that I think is going to be a benefit to anybody, I'm going to go ahead and save it in a PDF format. And I'll share it with everybody, probably on, like, Google+. And, of course, I'm going to put it in the forum on the AM Podcast Network. So my whole point is, as a podcaster, you can virtually just episode after episode after episode in this sucker and it's free. And look, if you got like the seven or eight bucks, however it is in US dollars to, to give to these guys, if you if you like their, their stuff, of course, I'm not going to say just shove money. But if you think it's going to be a big benefit to you, send it over to them. They use Stripe, so it's really easy. I think I, I filled out like three blocks and I and that was it. Anyway, I hope that you find this as a beneficial tool for your podcasting. Uh, even if you don't want to use it for podcasting, I mean, it applies to everything. I just wanted to share this you know, underneath the, the theme of podcasting, because I think that's where a lot of stuff for me is going to uh, really benefit. Anyway, I'm Adam from the AM Podcast Network. I really hope that you enjoy this video and you check out Coggle and let me know what you think about it. I would love to know if maybe I don't know enough yet and there's some, some shortcuts or some features uh, that I might get some advantages out of. So share that with me and, you know, thanks for watching.